Hey guys, welcome back to After Hours the Trip. Today I want to carry on with what's on the sides of my day bag. Last time I did a the fire starting kit, and today I want to do the IFAC. Uh, I know I've mentioned it several times before, but just in case for those who haven't seen the previous videos, IFAC meaning individual first aid kit. This is the bag I carry with me. It's similar to the other one. The only difference is this one's got a um, Velcro patch here. Um, at the later stage, I want to get some patches, um, indication patches, uh, blood type patch and uh, medikit patch, so that um, if I send somebody out, maybe I'm uh, at a scene or there's an emergency and I need to send somebody go grab my IFAC from my bag they can see which one is the medic kit and which one's the fire starting kit hopefully but that out of the way unlike my fire starting kit I'm actually using the two pouches in the front the front zipper bag I've got <laughs> tweezers that's very eager to get out and uh, plasters. I've got them specifically in the front section so that it's easy to get to. You don't have to fumble about. And that's there. If I open this to get to this pouch, I've got a clutch pencil. Um, I prefer clutch pencils. I've always make sure I've got enough lead in here. Um, the problem with pens is they tend to dry out, um, especially if you don't use them over a while. You can use a normal pencil, uh, but then it's a question of sharpening or using a blade to sharpen. With this one I just press a button. Easy. Further down I've got two notepads, one that I bought, one that I just stapled a couple of pages together really homemade there okay in the main compartment I've got this pouch rubber gloves and a CPR kit uh, the mouthpiece the with the um, not a vent. Uh, it's got some form of filter in it so that uh, when your patient, you're busy giving mouth to mouth, you and the patient or casualty or whatever starts to vomit, and at least that doesn't go into your mouth. Uh, two more bags of rubber gloves. This uh, bandage tape. Uh, some paint pills, Panado, Margulin, some more paint pills, hand sanitizer, uh, distilled water from a normal uh, first aid kit that I got most of these from. Different si three different sized bandages, betadine, and then in the main compartment it's got a back pouch here bandage shears, scissors, whatever you want to call it a triangle bandage two packets of uh, sealed gauze swabs and then two packets of burn shield just in case Um, some of you might say, okay, fine, what about this, what about that? For my own usage, um, I, I feel that's what I need. You can have something else. And the only other thing I would love to have in it would be a proper tourniquet. I just, so far, I haven't managed to purchase one yet. Uh, but, yeah, 
otherwise that's what I've got um, now that we've in lockdown situation and all fine mighty with the health routine uh, once again I do apologize about the light anyway um, because of the health scenario that we're in uh, I carry my IFAC on my tactical belt that I'm currently wearing I just took it off for the video uh, under normal circumstances I would have my IFAC onto my day bag which stays in the car and then if something happens and I need uh, a first aid kit uh, I've got my bug out bag which stays in my office just in the corner there I removed the first aid kit that I've got in there just for display purposes so if this is my the size of my IFAC bag this will be my uh, bug out bag first aid kit um, naturally this will have more in I'm not gonna go into that today but yeah, that's what I carry on my IFAC. <laughs> hope you guys found this informative. Um, hope it helps you to set up your own items. And as usual, enjoy and stay safe. Cheers.